When the pressure's on, the AccuPen delivers. Busy facilities deserve an instrument that will come through in the clutch. The AccuPen handheld applanation tonometer provides the user with accuracy, confidence, and versatility needed for patient IOP screening. The AccuPen is lightweight and features a great ergonomic design that fits comfortably in any hand. This video will demonstrate the proper techniques for getting the most out of your AccuPen tonometer. Inserting the battery. When you first unpack your AccuPen, the 3.6 volt lithium battery must be placed inside the unit. Take the screwdriver to open the casing and place the battery inside of the unit. Use the screwdriver to tighten the compartment shut. Be sure not to over tighten the screw. Batteries typically last 15,000 measurements or one year and can be purchased directly from Accutone. Taking a measurement. After anesthetizing the patient, an Accutip cover should be placed properly on the transducer. Accutip covers eliminate cross-contamination and protect the transducer tip from dust and liquids that could potentially damage the unit. Accutip covers can be purchased directly from Accutome or authorized Accutome distributors. Simply roll the cover on using the cardboard applicator. This photo is an example of a properly placed tip cover. Pleats indicate proper tension while allowing the transducer pin to move freely. Tip covers that are too tight could introduce false resistance to the transducer pin and IOP measurements could read higher. Tip covers that are too loose can fold over or crease and possibly create erratic measurements with your AccuPen tonometer. To turn on your AccuPen, press any control button. The product information briefly scrolls across the screen. The measurement screen will soon be displayed. To take a measurement, press and release the action control button. It is important to make sure the AccuPen is in the measurement position when this button is pressed. Shifting of the transducer tip from movement could lead to erratic measurements. After pressing the action button, the AccuPen will beep twice, indicating that it is ready for measurements. Gently tap the transducer tip on the patient's cornea. The probe should be perpendicular and measurements should be taken at the center of the cornea. As you gently tap the cornea, you will hear short chirps followed by one longer chirp. The longer chirp indicates you have obtained an IOP measurement. The number of short chirps can vary. The AccuPen has a proprietary algorithm which eliminates the need for a confidence factor. The AccuPen has the ability to store nine IOP measurements. Once you have completed a measurement, you can simply press the action button to take another measurement if necessary. The top number on your liquid crystal display will indicate the actual IOP measurement. The number below indicates the average measurement. To scroll through multiple measurements, simply hit the arrow buttons. If you have taken multiple measurements, an asterisk next to one of the numbers will indicate the furthest from the average. To delete individual measurements, hold down one of the arrow buttons for approximately three seconds. The unit will chirp, indicating the measurement has been deleted. After deleting one measurement, the AccuPen will automatically update the average IOP. To clear the AccuPen completely, hold down both arrow buttons for approximately three seconds. The unit will chirp indicating the measurements have been deleted. The AccuPen features gravity offset technology eliminating the need to calibrate your instrument frequently. When calibration is necessary, simply hold the up arrow and action button simultaneously for three seconds until the probe HORIZ display screen appears. Hold the transducer horizontal to the floor and press the action button. The unit will chirp and display probe up. Hold the unit so that the transducer tip is pointed directly in the air and press the action button. The unit will then chirp and display probe down. The last step in the calibration requires the user to hold the unit so that the transducer is pointed directly towards the floor. Press the action button. A calibration number will display in your AccuPen. Consult your user manual to confirm this number is within 30 of the engineered calibration number. When calibration is complete, the unit will feature a number under the probe. If your screen displays a no calc, the calibration process was not performed correctly. Please try to calibrate your unit again. If the unit displays an error message, please contact your AccuTome representative for further support. Other helpful tips include grasping the lanyard at all times to prevent your AccuPen from dropping. 
It is also important to store your AccuPen in its proper case when not in use. Please keep your AccuPen out of extreme temperature conditions. Extreme temperature conditions can affect measurements. Compressed air can be used to clean the tip of your AccuPen. Shoot the can on an angle at the transducer tip. Do not shoot the compressed air directly into the transducer. Do not hold the can upside down because liquid can enter the transducer tip. An ultrasonic cleaner can also be used to clean the tip. Expose only the tip into the ultrasonic bath. It is important to dry the tip immediately after cleaning. For other precautions or questions, consult the AccuPen user manual or call your AccuTome representative. Thank you for choosing AccuTome, where the difference is visible. <laughs>